My grandparents, when they came to this country, they came to New York as most immigrants did. Subsequently moved to a small town in Connecticut where I was born. My grandfather had an uh, Italian grocery store to economize while we all lived in above the store. My father was in the real estate business and during that time in the 30s it was pretty difficult and when you couldn't sell real estate the only other opportunity you had was to auctioneer it. So my father also became an auctioneer. I can't steal the silver, I got a five but here, give me five but I have five but I have an and a six of an eight and a six and a seven. Still do it. Well, I remember in the Depression that uh, I wore my grandfather's shoes. When they got holes in them, why, we put cardboard in there. And things were pretty desperate. Nobody had any money. Uh, it uh, was living from one meal to the next. You took any job you could get. And one job that was available, uh, for the kids anyway, would be suckering and, and picking tobacco. I think that's the, the toughest, rottenest job I ever had in my life. Of course, I made a lot of money doing that. It was, uh, it was 20 cents an hour. I guess you could say I, I was a philosopher because I decided that this was not what I wanted to do the rest of my life. <laughs> in my teens, late teens, I procured a, uh, an automobile for $68. It was a Model A Ford. <laughs> And um, I decided I'd go to California. When I got here, I had a um, emergency appendectomy. So I had to go to work in California <laughs> to pay off the doctor in the hospital and um, decided to stay. This had been about 1946, I guess. So I got my license in real estate and just uh, gravitated from there to um, what I'm doing today. He has a great love for his family. He wanted to really get to a place where he could have them all do the things that they wanted to do in life. My definition of success would be uh, to achieve a goal, regardless how high that goal is or how low it is, but to achieve it. Ladies and gentlemen, Horatio Alger member George L. Graziario, Jr. <laughs> Presenting the Horatio Alger Award is Association Board Member Terry M. Giles. Good evening. Being part Italian, you probably don't know that because grazie Dio, does that sound Italian? Grazie Dio. Grazie Dio. Grazie Dio. And just so you all know what it means in Italian, it means thanks to God. So I say to you, thanks to God. Being part Italian and part Irish, I've always done things my own way. But being successful, however, you define success is never done alone. While nothing is ever handed to any of us, opportunities and possibilities are always out there, but to find them and grab them and use them, well, that's what it takes for an ambition and imagination. I knew as a very young man I would never wear shoes with holes patched again. That was an experience that I don't want to explain to you, but uh, you know, when you're back east and it's cold and you're walking in the snow, where well, the bottom of your feet get wet. So I didn't want to wear shoes that had holes in them anymore. And that in its own way maybe created my ambition. And as I made it into that goal, more and more opportunities presented themselves. But let me be very, very clear to the students here this evening Opportunity only shows up when you look for it. The scholars with us tonight have done just that. The people providing these scholarships, investing in the hope of each of these young people, 
That's what an opportunity is. And thank you very much for this evening and for the chance to watch so many Americans' dreams come true. Thank you very much. Congratulations, George.